Hello everyone, this is Paco Morchaco, and today I'm going to show you my updated Ocarina collection. I'm going to start with the pendant ocarinas. I'm going to go in order of like type. So I've gotten a few more since my recent ocarina collection video. So I'm just going to go over all of them going by type. So let's start with the pendant ocarinas. First, this was my very first ocarina ever. It's from Songbird Ocarinas. It's their five hole pendant. And you can see up close. This was my very first ocarina and I saw the ad for Songbird Ocarinas in a Nintendo Power years ago. And so I ordered this one. And then I have this Zelda Red Rupee Ocarina. It's a six hole, so it's got the four on the front and the two on the back. And this one is from STL Ocarinas. STL Ocarinas and Songbird Ocarinas are my two favorite companies to buy ocarinas from. I have quite a few from each of them. So next I've got this little turtle ocarina. It's just, it's not very good at all, but it's just a little one. I got it as a souvenir on one of my trips to Mexico. So it's just this little four hole ocarina as a souvenir. And I have another little ocarina turtle that I also got from Mexico. This was from Cabo when I went. And it doesn't sound very good at all. It's just for the novelty, for a souvenir. But it's still an ocarina, so it goes in my video. Next, I've got this really small, it's a Peruvian style ocarina. So it's got the nice pattern on it. And it's got six holes. And it doesn't have a very good sound. Peruvian ocarinas are known mostly for just um, the designs on them. And my last pendant ocarina is this handmade one that I got when I went to a flea market in Oregon. And as you can see, it's got the Triforce on it. It's got five holes four on the back and one on the front and it sounds absolutely terrible it barely makes a noise at all but I got it because it has the cool Triforce on it so it's a it's a unique ocarina for the collection so I guess we'll go with the other unique ocarinas that I have I have a medium sized Peruvian ocarina this one's got eight holes on it so you can see the design on it a little bit closer and then I have a larger Peruvian ocarina let you get a closer look at the design on that and this one also has eight holes on it all three of the Peruvian ocarinas I bought in this tiny little shop that I found in Sacramento so which isn't there anymore, so I can't go back and buy any more because they went out of business, which is sad. But next we have one of my favorites. It's this Jaguar Head Ocarina that I bought when I went to Cancun in Mexico. And it's got one hole on each eye, one hole on the tip of the ears. So it's only got four holes total but it has this really nice deep sound so I really like it and it's got a really neat unique design it's a really nice polish on it just really nice details with the Jaguar head so that's my Jaguar head ocarina. And next we have this set of three like Aztec warrior ocarinas. 
We have this one, this one with like the eagle headdress. And then we've got one with like a jaguar type headdress. So that's a set of three. Each of them only has four holes and they're not very good. They're more of just like the other ones are. They're just for a souvenir and for like the novelty of it. They're a really cool design. So they're more just about the looks, but they're pretty cool to have in a collection. And I bought those also when I went to Mexico. And next we're going to have my sweet potato ocarinas. First I have this one. This was my first sweet potato ocarina. This one is also from Songbird Ocarinas. See it's got the little Triforce on it. You can tell it's inspired from the Ocarina of Time. So that's just a simple little five hole. It's got the same um, fingering pattern as a five hole pendant. Next, I have a 12-hole sweet potato plastic tenor ocarina from STL. And this is a really good ocarina for a first-time ocarina. This was my first 12-hole ocarina, so it was a really good one to learn on because it's plastic, it's cheaper, and it's more durable so you can take it around and practice in different places. And it's got a really nice sound. STL does a really good job with all their plastic ocarinas because they're affordable and they still sound really good. So that's that one. And then next I have a plastic triple ocarina. This is also from STL. So it's got three different chambers. As you can see there's three different holes to blow in and each hole corresponds to the different chamber. The first chamber is basically the same range as a normal 12-hole sweet potato ocarina, and then it's got the other two octaves to give it a really big range. So that one is also from STL. and I, It comes in a lot of other colors, but I really liked this nice light blue color. So then next, this is one of my favorites. This is also from STL Ocarina, and it's their Ocarina of Time replica. As you can see, it's a really nice replica of the Ocarina of Time from The Legend of Zelda. It's got a really nice finish to it. It is ceramic. It's got a really nice Triforce band on it. So it's got 12 holes. The four, four, and then the two sub holes and the two octave holes on the back. This is a really good ceramic ocarina replica. I really like the finish on it. There's quite a few Ocarina of Time replicas out there and I like this one because it has like a darker finish on it. Most of the other ones have a lighter finish but so that's one of my favorites. And this is the last one. This is my newest ocarina that I just got the other day. This is Songbird Ocarina's Ocarina of Time Kokiri Edition. And this is their seven hole ocarina. So it's like an exact replica of the one from the game. They also have a Hyrule Edition, which is a clay one, but it's a lot more expensive. This is the plastic edition. So it's much more affordable and it's more portable because it's very hard to break a plastic ocarina. But so it's great for if you're starting out. Um, I would probably recommend a 12 hole ocarina to start with because it's a little bit easier. The 7 hole ocarina, they have the same range as a 12 hole, but they use different fingering combinations. So it's probably easy to learn on a 12 hole first. But so you can see the set, this is the seven hole ocarina. It's got the three holes right here and then these, these two holes here. These two are actually fake holes. They're just for looks.
to make it look more like in the game. And then it's got the two octave holes on the back. And you can see the Triforce band on there. The Triforce band is kind of just like a metallic looking sticker, so I was kind of disappointed about that. Um, but like I said, it's a pretty affordable ocarina, and it's a really good replica if you're just looking for a replica ocarina for a cosplay or anything. But it also has a really good sound for a plastic ocarina. So I really like this one. And this one is from Songbird Ocarinas. It's one of their brand new ones. I think right now it's only available through their Amazon store. Um, but it should be available on their Songbird website soon. And that's it. Thank you for watching my video. That is my whole ocarina collection right now. Um, I don't see myself getting any more in the near future. Um, I might get some in the future, in the distant future. Um, if I do end up getting more, after I get maybe like two or three more, I might make another update video just to show you the new ones. And that's it. So right now I have a pretty big collection. I've been collecting ocarinas for a few years. So right now I've got... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 ocarinas total. So thank you for watching my video and I'll be making more ocarina song videos soon. Um, so yeah, check out my other ocarina videos. I have an ocarina playlist if you're interested in that. And thank you for checking out my videos. Bye. So then here is just a quick clip to show my full ocarina collection. And there you go.